He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. One may know how to conquer without being able to do it. What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent. One mark of a great soldier is that he fight on his own terms or fights not at all. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not, will be victorious. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. Who does not know the evils of war cannot appreciate its benefits. Plan for what it is difficult while it is easy. Do what is great while it is small. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. If you fight with all your might, there is a chance of life, whereas death is certain if you cling to your corner. Do not swallow bait offered by the enemy. Do not interfere with an army that is returning home. We cannot enter into alliances until we are acquainted with the designs of our neighbors. When the outlook is bright, bring it before their eyes. But tell them nothing when the situation is gloomy. If there is disturbance in the camp, the general's authority is weak. Energy may be likened to the bending of a crossbow. Decision to the releasing of a trigger. When your army has crossed the border, you should burn your boats and bridges in order to make it clear to everybody that you have no hankering after home. Rewards for good service should not be deferred a single day. Begin by seizing something which your opponent holds dear, then he will be amenable to your will. Move not unless you see an advantage. Use not your troops unless there is something to be gained. Fight not unless the position is critical. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you. This will diminish his enthusiasm. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. Thus the expert in battle moves the enemy and is not moved by him. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Appear weak when you are strong and strong when you are weak.